Hey, hey, this is Dr. Yates. Uh, we're in Chicago with my buddy Ethan. And Ethan ha obviously has very nice aesthetics. Those are fancy words for me that you look good. <laughs> so anything you do on, you always want to do it. It always makes us feel good when we have guys and women with nice aesthetics because it just makes everybody look better no matter what you do. So Ethan is a young fella and he came in because his hairline was severely miniaturized. If you can see the pictures up here. He wore his hair long because he was kind of camouflaging this thinning in the front. And you can see uh, on the computer screens here. So what we did about, hasn't even been a year, what about eight, nine months? Mm -hmm. Eight, yes. eight, nine months. Uh, Ethan, you know, talked to me about it. And everybody's skeptical at first about doing it, especially young guys that look good. And, and were you kind of skeptical? Can you tell the truth? Yeah, I was a little nervous going in apprehensive. I didn't really know all about the process or how long it was going to take. So, Right. And you basically put your trust in me because you, we, Ethan, kind of, I've kind of bought suits where Ethan worked and Ethan was well dressed and very nice and I trusted him and he trusted me and I knew we could make him better. And the key to a hair transplant, a lot of people, especially young guys, are always saying like, oh, I can go like to Turkey and get something for one dollar a graft or I know a guy that can do the procedure for this and this. But I have to tell you, and I'm not tooting my own horn, all gas is not equal. It's not like going to a gas station where you can you know, get the gas if this one is less than. There's a reason that somebody here is charging this versus this. And a hair transplant is just not what's going on in the front, it's the back too. Because the back is just as important as the front. So all you people that are saying, oh I want to strip because you can get more hair and end up with the scar in the back, I can't tell you how many patients say, now I have this scar and I can't shave my head. I wish I knew that. Well, they did know that. They just went ahead and did it. So Ethan, turn around. I just want to show them the back of your head here. The back of his head is actually pristine. You can't see anything. We kind of spread out 2,000 grafts. Easily, we could probably do six, seven more thousand grafts easily without this ever showing it with the FUE technique. You can turn around. Like people who have FUT or scar procedures, you're always gonna see a hint of that scar or they're gonna to have to wear their hair at a three or a four. And there are plenty of people on TV that you see all the time that have big scars or tattoos in the back of their head. Who puts a tattoo in the back of their head right here if you don't have a reason to? Absolutely no one. So don't be fooled by all these gimmicks of, you know, well, this little this, this little this, I fell down when I was little. They had a scar, who wants a scar? So back to the hair transplant. So he had 12, 100 grafts to the front. You can see he's wearing his hair flush back. It looks completely natural. Doesn't look pluggy. If you didn't, if I didn't know he had it done, I wouldn't say anything. It's much thicker and I'm accenting the side that, you know, you can see here was so thin. Looks much thicker now, you know. He has nothing in his hair that, you know, a lot of times when people shoot pictures afterwards, they put different products like powders and stuff to thicken. It's none of that. This is all organic, you know. So his hair looks good. So Ethan, I know I've done a lot of talking and you can interrupt me. I mean, are you satisfied with what you've gotten so far? Yeah, I'm extremely satisfied with what I have. Um, you know, I shopped around for a lot to take a look at various doctors and their practices. And um, I, like Dr. Yates said, we established a good trusting relationship and I've uh, been consistently just in awe of the reviews that people have written for his work so I came in and I'm just just elated with the results and uh, I'm excited to see because I know you know we're only eight months in it's only gonna get better from here so it's great and that's true and we do encourage patients to write results I mean uh, uh, comments especially when they're good because everyone knows just like you go to Yelp and I don't even go to Yelp to use a restaurant because only the people who complain write on Yelp. You know, <laughs> like my tomato was just didn't look good, uh, no silverware. And you go to the restaurant, it's the best restaurant ever. So we always encourage people who are satisfied to go ahead and say, you know, what they want to say because we put our heart and soul into this. This is just not, you know, a lot of people think all oh, that is everybody wants to make money. Of course, you want to get paid for what you do but you put your heart and soul into every case and every case is different. So I'm just gonna end on one thing, that a lot of people are always shopping with pictures on the internet. Now, I'm, I always say this, you can make your hair look as good or bad if you, as you want to, okay? And if you take, and I use the example all the time, everybody knows somebody who takes selfies, and I'm sure you do, Ethan, you've seen a selfie of a girl or a guy 
and you'll look at him and say, oh my God, is that Jim or is that Jackie? And they look nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So when you see these pictures on the internet, don't get fooled with all this guy's hair looks like that. And then you go and you say, well, Dr. Yates is, oh, his pictures don't look like this guy. You need to see either one or two things. You need to see a live patient. You wanna see that patient live and comb their hair, or at minimum, that's why we do so many videos because you can't go in here and fake this and, and have stuff in somebody's hair and mix it up if their hair isn't correct, you know, organically done. So that's why we do videos, we stay away from pictures, and remember one more thing, no two hair transplants are alike. If you see somebody's hair, you know, and you see their result, that is his unique result. You know, that has really nothing to do with you because you don't have the same head, you don't have the same genetics, and you don't have the same hair, but it is possible. That's what I want you to know. So come see us in Chicago. We'll do the best we can for you. And all gas is an equal and all hair is an equal. See you soon.